pull my shirt up. This is not rated R over here. <laughs> Welcome to the to the travel snacks and to the live stream. I know this isn't our regular day, and like I said, if you were there on the last live stream, I'm trying some new things and trying some new diff you know different nights different days uh of these live streams and if you're new here welcome travel snacks is all about traveling eating good food living a different lifestyle than the norm maybe you want to live in a van a car a truck a tiny home a tent you know it's all good and we're all welcoming here and loving and kind and let me whoa I'm trying to get this situated i'm taking it super whoa super old school and i'm back on my phone I'm doing this live stream from my phone, which I haven't done in like 150 years, but I'm trying to get it set up. All right. Now I started these live streams a few years ago and when I used to do them on my phone, I didn't, I didn't have to wear reading glasses and now I'm older and so it's not as cute, but it's fine. It's fine. Back to the classic look. I'm not even using the melon app for this. Um, so let me scroll back. Let me, how do I, okay. 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 It can only let me, it only lets me scroll back so far. So I don't know. I can't see all the people that's in here, but I think it starts with Tammy. Oh, Tammy. Welcome, Tammy. Grant's in the house. One of our moderators. Whoop, whoop. Crystal and La Gringa, Janet, Jake Buttram, um, who else is in here? Hey, Charlotte's in the house. Hey, Rose. Hey, Robbie's in the house. AGT, that's another one of our moderators. Um, I just turned on the live chat. Thank you, Grant. Um, Jane Gray's in the house. Adriana. Uh, let's see, let's see. Many roads, no rules. That's my friend, Adriana. Hey, Shannon. Hey, Holly. From Surprise, Arizona. Hey, Sparkola and Donnie and Scott and Evelyn. Everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Cam. Woo! You guys, <laughs> I scheduled this live chat as like a last minute situation. And then I'm like, I'm just going to do a quick one mile walk around this park. And then I was like trying to hurry because I underestimated my quickness. I, I was like, got here like with two minutes to spare <laughs> before this live stream started. So I'm a little like sweaty right now and it's cold outside. It was, it's very windy. Like I want to try to go outside with you guys, but it's like so windy. I think the microphone's going to be not good. So we'll see. Um, sorry if I missed anybody because I'm just trying to scroll, scroll on this phone Hey, Van of Gold from Detroit. I have never been to Detroit. Um, hey, Merlin Contemplation and Judy from Chicago. Hey, April. Uh, old school is the best. You know, this, this was so much easier, like, than scheduling and decorating the screens and, like, whatever. So when I do some of these, like, live, live streams that are impromptu, I'm just going to, like, old school it up with my phone or whatever because... Like holding my iPad, it's like wiggly and like I set it up and, and that's cool. Don't get me wrong. And we're going to do more mystery guests uh, coming up soon. So I'm super excited for that. So when I do that, I have to use the Melon app because uh, it allows you to have guests. But for this, this is like pretty cool. And then I can just, just chill. I'm lying in bed watching YouTube videos and saw the notification. Awesome. That's a little hint. Thank you, Jane, for saying that. If you are not if you haven't hit the notification bell i say it in every video and i don't know why if you didn't do it already and if you're new the snack pack is our community and we have the best community on the internet so if you're not already subscribed you might as well just go ahead and, and give in and just hit the subscribe in the notification and then when i do these live streams you guys will know you guys will know and also might as well just throw a like on this while we're at it let's just get it all out of the way um, let's see who else is in here. Tracy from Tennessee. I love Tennessee. Uh, no getting the video feed just, oh, you're not getting a video feed? Uh, I don't know. It should be a decent connection. I can't believe you went to Trader Joe's and didn't get me some Aztec corn. 
Oh, you know what, Big Daddy Cool Breeze? I looked at that and I was like, I got a lot of stuff in my freezer. So maybe next time I'll get that. Hey, Sherry. Oh, Robbie, you were born in Detroit? That is interesting. I did not, did not know that. Um, yes, yes, yes. Hey, Christina. Nice to see you here. Hey, Linda and Jay, baby. Um, also, if you'd like to support the channel with, uh, you know, to the snack fund, feel free to hit the little dollar sign under the chat. That's a super chat and they're little super chat stickers and they're fun. And then you can be part of the, you know, the snack fund family. Uh, you can also donate through PayPal, Venmo and Cash App, but you don't have to donate. But if you do, it's great too. Also, another fun thing is, <laughs> I just realized this, if you do a donation, usually I give like a little shout out sound, but I'm on my phone, so I can't do that. So I'm gonna have to like, make the sound myself, which is gonna be probably fairly entertaining. So if you're gonna give a donation, I'll have to think of something to give you a shout out. Um, also, hey JD in New Mexico. Thank you Grant for posting those links. Hey Judy and Carolyn from Louisiana. I love Louisiana. This is not a good place for van lifers in summer, hot and humid here. You know what? The only few times that I went to Louisiana was, uh, well, I went a couple times, but both times, like literally whenever I'd cross into Louisiana, it was just like a humidity waterfall just like came upon me and I was just sweating. It's probably, I know people say like Florida is so, like super humid, but I feel like Louisiana has probably been one of the most humid places I've ever been. And it was hot and sweaty. Um, da, 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 da. Hey, Fred Flintstone, will your camera not do landscape instead of tall and narrow? Oh, I wonder if it's too late. You're very smart. Howdy from fellow Riverside County native. Awesome, T.L. Wood. Let's see. Oh, hold on. Where's my camera? Okay, this is gonna, if, you're, if you get seasick or motion sickness, close your eyes for a second. Whoa. Oh no, it won't that it won't do it. Okay, so that was a fail on my part because I forgot that when I'm doing these live streams I need to go horizontal, but once you already start the live stream, you can't change the orientation. So this one's just gonna be a different look. So sorry about that. Next time I'll remember. Um Oh, Robbie coming through with $20 super chat. This is for you to saw he ha and sorts. Of... This is for you to say he ha and I was like, oh boy. Okay. Let's see. Let's give you, um, you know what? I'm going to give you that little sound. That's like ain'ts, 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 ain'ts. I'm a terrible beatboxer. That was. Don't, don't let me ever do that again. That was terrible. That's your sound, but thank you so much. It's just a true blessing. Thank you, Robbie. Um, turn the van on its side. Okay, let me, let me, let me, you know, turn the wheel real quick and see if I can turn it to the side. I don't know, YouTube should allow you to change the orientation, but I guess that wouldn't work. Yeah, um, that's not a good idea. Oh, well, this will just be one of those, you know, times that you guys were here and you saw this difference in the live stream and no one else will ever know except for people that watch the replay so if you're watching the replay hello and you'll get to see my mistake um there's 62 people here and only 37 likes i mean you could throw a like on it i don't know hey dora from the gypsy movement how are you doing Awesome, awesome. Carolyn says, my son is in Colorado. He came by plane to visit. He said getting off was like getting hit with a wet rag. I mean, that sounds about right for Louisiana. That's really true. Um, all right, so basically today we're gonna talk about being a good neighbor. This is the topic for tonight. Now, 
you may have strong opinions about this and that's okay. But I want to tell you a little story about what happened to me last night. Now, I'm in Denver, Colorado. Now, when I first came here, I was like, like when I first came to Denver, when I first drove in, it was like, I think I drove into a bad part of town and it was really smoggy and like people were walking around looking crazy and just like looking suspicious. And I was like, oh no, I'm going to stay here one night and keep, keep pushing. And then over time, it's kind of grown on me. And like, I, you know, came to this park and it's just so lovely. And I've basically come to this park like so many days because it's such a big park and it's got two lakes and it's like a great place to walk and work out and just chill. And yeah, it's just awesome. So, you know, so I'm like doing all right in Denver. And I'd say for the most part, I've been sleeping in hotel parking lots. So I'll stay at this park. You know, some days I don't come to this park, but some days I'll come to this park and then I'll drive, you know, like at 10 at night to a hotel. Um, and I've stayed at a different hotel every time because, you know, I don't like to overstay my welcome anywhere, you know, and the, these hotels, you know, you're not really supposed to be uh, staying at the hotel parking lots, but you know, no one's ever said anything to me, you know, whenever I stay at a hotel. Hey, Tracy coming through with that $10. Ooh, ooh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beow, 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 beow. That's the sound for you, Tracy. <laughs> and for a snack. Thank you, Tracy. I appreciate that. Tracy, I'm going to have to have you on again another time because I liked our, our chat, but it was too short that time you came on. So you're going to be a mystery guest one time. So DM me or email me or something so that we can coordinate that because I would love to have you back on. Um, State Farm is like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. Uh, Doris is exhausted from work, but finally able to catch your live. Awesome. Glad you're here. Okay. So anyways, so last night, you know, I stayed at this park, uh, till like, like I said, like, I don't know, actually last night, I think I left a little earlier. I left, I left at about nine, nine fifteen, and I was driving in a direction to go to a hotel to park for the night. And then I was, I was, as I was driving, I saw a street, like a neighborhood, um, that was fairly nice and it wasn't super crowded as, in terms of, you know, people parked up on the streets and there was a spot that was like between, you know, there was a, like a fence, like a wooden fence on this side and like another fence on this side. And then there was houses in front of it and houses in back of it. So I wasn't impeding anybody's space. I was just like in a little, you know, just like on a street, no signs saying you can't park there, nothing, nothing. Um, and so I was like, you know what? Instead of driving the, another 15 minutes to this hotel, I'll just park here. Now, I'm going to give you a little side note, side tangent. I'd say almost every almost every neighborhood street, because I've only parked in a neighborhood like two other times since I've been here. Uh, I'd say almost every neighborhood here in Denver and the surrounding cities, the streets are sloped like this. So they kind of like have like a little hump shape. So... I think it's, I'm just making this up. It's probably for like if it snows or if it rains and it could go down and then go down. There's no like gutter things, but I think that's just probably what's happening. So it's not ideal out here to be parking in neighborhoods because then my van is like leaning like this if I park on the right or, you know, this to the left. So I really haven't been focusing on staying in neighborhoods since I've been here, but this particular one was sloped, but it wasn't terrible. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to park here. It's it's close to the park and I knew I was going to come to the park again today uh, because I was doing some editing and I wanted to take a walk and there was a bunch of, I had a meeting. There was just a bunch of other things that I had to do. Oh, it's called a crown. I never, this is new information to me. I did not know this. I'm learning all kinds of new things. A crown. That is so interesting. Um, yes. Awesome. Tracy. Um, Hey, Thomas from Northern New York State. Awesome. Okay, so I parked on this street. Um, hey, Crystal Rios sent me $10 on Cash App for... Oops. Oh, I can't... Oh, man, I can't see it. It just popped up on my end of notifications, but I'm on my phone. So I think it said for snacks. So thank you so much. Let's give you... These are not coming off the same way as they do on the app. 
This is probably a terrible idea to be giving custom sounds. Okay, so I parked on this neighborhood street and it was, you know, around this park, it's like a nicer neighborhood. neighborhood. So I'm parked there. I think it was probably around 9.15-ish, 9.20, you know, and usually I'll like park up somewhere like around that time or closer to 10, but I'm not, I don't usually like fall asleep, fall asleep until later, like 10, 10, 10, 30, 11, sometimes midnight, like just my body's weird. So sometimes it just takes a while to fall asleep. So anyways, I was doing like looking on my phone, just like super quiet, not doing nothing. Just like, you know, just like I always do, I'm, like just, just parked and quiet. And it was about 10 o'clock and I just hear like a dude just screaming at the top of his lungs. He's cussing away. He's like this effing this and this and effing that. Now, I've seen a lot of homeless people here in Denver, but in this particular area, since I've been hanging around this park, not really. Like this is a kind of a nicer area. So I was like, what is going on out there? And you know, I have my curtain closed, you know, I don't want to pull it over, but anyway, I have my curtain closed so you, you know, nobody can see in. I have my window shades up so nobody can see in. And I'm just like, you know, I don't want to like peek out because I don't know what's happening but this guy is just like yelling and then I'm thinking like he's getting like the sound was getting closer to my ears so I was like he's getting really close to my van and he's just like yelling and then I heard him say these effing California people just parking up on our streets and just coming around here and just being a nuisance and just taking up our parking spots and these effing California and he's just like screams at the top of his lungs like so loud I was like you're gonna burst a blood vessel bro and so I knew he was talking about me because I have California plates and he was like like I've never like he was just so angry like the blood boilage of this man and he was just like I'm calling the cops on this van and so I knew he was talking about me I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm just laying on, on my bed, just like holding my phone, just like, what do I do? Because I don't want to peek out because this guy is clearly near my van. And he was just, he just kept ranting. He's just like, effing California this, effing this, effing vans, effing whatever, whatever. I'm thinking, bro, there's, I don't know why you're ranting up on this because there was plenty of spots on the street. I wasn't taking up any like additional spacing. And if your house is in front of this fence, there was spaces in front of the fence. Okay, let me read these comments and I'll continue. <sighs> Gets me riled up. Um, the high center in the middle of the road is so that rain doesn't pool in the middle. Yes, that sounds, that sounds right. Yes, those slopes will mess up your sleep. I prefer s street parking along part apartment buildings outside of the Denver area. Yes. That's a better move. Water alarm. I can't even turn my water alarm on because I'm on my phone. You should do stuff like a handstand or a backflip. I cannot do those things. <laughs> Sherry. I mean, I couldn't even do those things in my 20s, let alone in my 40s. Um, let's see. Grab some water. We'll do, we'll do the water. We don't have a water alarm, but I'll still drink water. Do you plan on installing cameras with a monitor so you don't have to peek out your window? So Janet, I do have a system in my Amazon wish list, like private wish list, I think. Um, that's, so I have like a little list of things that I like want to get, but it, you know, I have to save up for it. So it's in my list of things to get. I want to get the, the one that you can have the little tiny cameras like on all four sides of the van um, so that I can see, you know, basically 360. So it is on my list of things to get in the future. Sandra, what's up, Sandra? Um, oh, the live doesn't sound good. Can you guys hear okay? Deb R says, I love your radios. Thank you, Deb. Thanks for being here. Um... Deb R says he must have mental health issues. I don't think he did. I think he was just an angry man. Uh, thank you, Robbie, for reminding me about the water. You need a camera so you can see outside without having to go outside. So the good thing, though, about this, I can't show you because I don't want to. Well, let's see. So this curtain, you can see there's like a little 
a little peekage. Usually I have my towel up there so it blocks it. So I just like kind of peek my little towel out and look. And I can't show you because it's on my um, side mirrors. I have that little side mirror that has the little circle that's like magnified. And if I could peek out just right, I can see on the sides of my van. So it's pretty good. Like, you know, if I have to peek out, it's like I don't have to peek my whole face out. Um, are you concerned he'll vandalize your van or did you move? Sorry, if you already answered this, I just got here to the chat late. Uh, hey, Maddie G, how are you? Um, I haven't gotten to that part yet, so stay tuned. I'm just reading some comments and then I'm going to finish the story. You made a good decision to stay put and quiet and quieter. Uh, that was for your super chats backflip. What is your hidden talent? I don't, I think my hidden talent is not even hidden. I can sing pretty well. Um, my hidden talent is probably saving money. <laughs> you can make your Amazon wish list public. I've thought about that, but also I, it would have to get shipped to my parents' house and I'm not always at my parents' house. So I'd only get the packages like, you know, every six months when I, four to six months when I visit my family. Um, thanks, Jane Baby, uh, about that audio. Um, maybe your dad could install some machine guns in the front lights like James Bond, Aston Martin. That would be pretty cool. Except I don't want to kill anybody, but maybe some like dart, like not darts, um, BB guns, pellets or whatever. You could have been visiting one of the neighbors. He assumed you weren't. Exactly, Shannon. Sandra says, you, the life sounds fine. Your problem with the person doesn't sound. Oh, 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 I see what you're um, Jake says, sorry, folks, I might have to take my stepdad. Oh, no, Jake. Everybody say prayers for Jake's stepdad. Um, hopefully some healing is happening over there and he will be okay. Um, Fred, I do have some weapons. Um, I didn't have dinner, Deb. <laughs> I didn't have dinner today. Okay, so this dude is just going on a rant. So then I hear him like, I hear him yelling, but I hear him like, the sound started to get further away. So I think he went into his house. So I'm just like, you know what? It is not worth it to stay here, you know? And then I start, so then my mind starts going like, my mind was thinking, what are the laws here in Denver? Like, can you sleep in your car? Because in San Diego where, you know, when I'm in California, I usually hover in my van around San Diego. It is illegal to sleep in your van or car or any, no habitation can be happening in a vehicle. So I was like, I don't even know what the rules are here. So that was my my bad for not even looking that up ahead of time. So anyways, I was like, I hear him kind of going away. So I put my slipper things on, put my sweater on, you know, and I'm like, Ugh, I'm gonna have to move now. This sucks. Um, I have to take all the stuff off my counter. <sighs> Such a hassle. And so I did. And so I like, opened the curtain, sat in the front seat, and then he comes out. And he, it's dark, so, you know, he really couldn't see. But he's, just, like, looking at my van. He's, like, yeah, just, like, you know, he wasn't, like, I don't know. He wasn't, like, staring at me yelling, but he was just ranting. And he was, like, going in to get something out of his car. And he was just, like, he was taking up spots. I was, like, ranting. I couldn't even hear him because I was just, like. And I just sat here for a second just, like, looking at him, like, bro, you need to take a deep breath. Like, why are you so angry? Like, why? Why? Why are you so angry about this? So, anyways, I started my engine and, you know, let it run for a couple minutes. Not a couple minutes, like probably a minute. Um, and then I pulled off and then I hear this a-hole, sorry. But I hear him going, ha-ha, na-na-na. Like, as I'm driving away, he's like, ha-ha, you moved, you moved, ha-ha-ha. You moved, I got you, like he was like taunting, like being such a jerk ball. And I'm just like, bro, you're like a grown man, like taunting a person that wasn't even doing anything. And like someone else just said a few minutes ago, how do you know that I'm not parked on that street visiting somebody? Like people do visit other people and they have, you know, they come from other states. Like you don't own the whole street. It was just like such like, it checked my hide so much because it's like, don't get me wrong. I understand that people like want their neighborhoods to be nice and stuff. But this whole conversation is like the only time that I've had problems like this is in more upscale neighborhoods or like more affluent 
areas or, or areas that are nicer. And I know they want to keep it nice, but the, the level of anger goes from zero to a hundred real quick in these neighborhoods that have a little bit of money. And listen, I know my van is ugly on the outside. I know it's not a good looking van. <clears throat> and I'm sorry that it hurts people's eyes if they have to look at it on their street. But also it's like, these are public streets, public. You could park, you can park there. So anyways, I looked it up later once I, I actually went to that hotel and parked. Um, and in Denver, you can sleep in your vehicle and you can park on any street that you want that's public. And, you know, obviously follow the signs if there's any signs that say no parking or street sweeping or whatever. But you can sleep in your vehicle and you can even stay in one spot for up to 72 hours as long as you like move a hundred feet. So you could just like literally move just a little ways away and stay in that spot. So if he would have called the cops on me, uh, then I would have been in the right, but I would not have stayed there no matter what, because then I'm just like, this dude has a loose screw up in his head. He's, you know, who knows? He's probably gonna like get a baseball bat and start, you know, smashing up my van or my windows or do something crazy or just keep yelling like a maniac. And I was like, I'd like to sleep too much. I'm not trying to get all, you know, invested in this guy's anger. So it didn't like, it was just like more annoying than anything. I said a prayer for that guy because I'm just like, to have that much anger in your heart for somebody, somebody you don't know, a stranger. So that's why I'm, I'm having this topic is like, what has we, what have we become? <laughs> what has America become? Like, when people are not doing anything, minding their own business, then another person gets so angry. Uh, I think I told this on another another live stream, but I had a similar incident, not not the ranting, but somebody in San Diego and a person that just lived on the street put a notice on my windshield wiper talking about, don't park on, my, on our streets. <clears throat> it's illegal to sleep in your car. We've, you know, noted your license plate, took a picture of it, and we'll call the cops next time, blah, blah, blah. Bro, no, no, I, I don't, I don't, I don't like the attitude. I don't like the attitude at all. So why don't people, why aren't people more neighborly? You know, like if somebody comes to another state, you should be welcoming. Like now, listen, I know that people, and I, I'll even say like a lot of people from California that I've heard will go to other states and want to like California vacation it or whatever they'll try to do weird things and try to make it, you know, whatever they want it to be, or they'll, you know, I don't know. I've just heard stories. I can't verify these things, but I've heard that people from California kind of ruin it for other people, but not everybody's like that. That's such a stereotype to just think that everybody's the same. And it's not, let me read some of these comments because it's scrolling back a lot. Um, Oh, Jake, it's his breathing. Okay, so we'll pray, pray specifically for Jake's, oops, I lost it. Jake's stepdad to have easier time breathing. Um, yes, we hit over a hundred watching. We haven't hit this in so long. These, This is, somebody told me that Friday nights are good for live streams. Um, so that's good. Um, J baby says he needed to vent probably living in sticks and bricks is stressing him out and he's jelly of your freedom. Maybe. I mean, that's a good point. Like maybe he just got off of work and it was already late at night and he's probably like, maybe he just likes that space like in front of his house, like by the fence. Maybe he doesn't want to park directly in front of his house. I don't know what his reasoning is, but you know, I'm just like, I felt like ba almost bad for the way he was just out of control because I was like, I think you might have a heart attack and I need to stay here in case you do because you're freaking out. Like you're freaking out on like just a literal vehicle that's parked on your street. So he was a man child, <laughs> basically. Uh, yeah, it seems like Friday nights are good for travel snacks. You know, I'm usually not doing anything on a Friday night. I hope maybe in the future, but hey, for now, I got my snack pack. Roy says, in San Diego, the homeless with mental illness go on screaming rants over nothing. This guy was probably in his in this camp. Um, I've seen that before in San Diego. Um, I've seen the homeless 
ranting. Um, this guy was just a person like, like uh, when I got in, in the van in front of, in here, what am I trying to say? When I got into the driving area here and I saw him, it was dark, but I could see that he wasn't just like, like a homeless person or like a mentally, I think he was just like an angry older man. I was just like, bro, I'm just staring at you calmly and you're just still just going crazy. Go throw a poop bag on his car with a note saying, ha ha. <laughs> That's funny. Actually, I had to drive by that street today when I was coming back to the park and I was just like, I want to go like knock on this man's door and just do a podcast interview with this guy and just be like, let me just talk to you and see why you hate van people or people from California. Poor guy must have mental issue illness, surely. Maybe. I mean, maybe he did. Um, it has been my experience, Maddie G says, that people that are in the rage level cannot be reasoned with. That's true. He sounds very immature and possibly some mental issue, but clearly not worth it. Glad you moved. I am glad I moved too, because even if he would have went in his house and calmed down and not called the cops, I would have been laying there the whole time going, is he calling? Is he not calling? I'm going to get the knock. And like, is he going to come out? Like, I don't want to, I don't want to stress myself out. Yeah, good for me in Melbourne as it's Saturday morning. Perfect. Awesome, Tracy. Yeah, this may be a good time. Sherry says, I used to be the type where I would be silent and just wait for it to pass. But now I am raising in my old age and I would have whipped open that door and like, don't start with me, angry man. Yeah, I think I'm at the stage where I'm just, I am in, I'm just quiet. I just look at people. I'm like, why are you so mad, bro? Like, why? Um, he would have been bothering his neighbors too while taunting you. Ooh, Deb, I didn't even think about that. That's so true. And I maybe his neighbors already know he's unstable or just so angry. I don't know. Like, I can't even imagine like living on a street with someone that would be so angry, just be yelling and not even caring about their neighbors. Because it was almost, I think it was probably at least 10. Yesterday, I was behind a driver on residential street being a major jerk and another driver. These people have issues for sure. Yeah. Janet, the people with the anger issues, they need, uh, they need to take a deep breath because it's really not that serious. Oh, brazen. Okay. I got you. AM. They're not neighborly because you're not their neighbor. I mean, in the big scheme of things, we're all neighbors, you know, like we're all neighbors. That's how I feel. I know nobody, not everybody agrees in that sense. But we're all supposed to be kind to each other. So like if somebody came from Colorado to California and parked on my street when I had a house, I wouldn't be like, get out of here, Denver person or Colorado person. You suck. You guys smoke too much weed. Like I, <laughs> I wouldn't just be like going off in all craziness. I would just be like, oh, cool. They're traveling. But, you know, I know everybody has different opinions. Um, I think... I understand what you're saying, like respect their space. But to me, if it's a public street, it's my space too. If it's public, it is the space of the people. So that's the way I feel. Um, hey, Haley. Don't make his issues your issues. That's a good point, Thomas. Friday night snack pack gives me inspiration for the weekend. Ooh, ooh. The other thing is I like to take Saturdays off now, like no work at all. And this is really cool because it like rounds out my week of like working hard <laughs> and then just like coming together with a snack pack on a Friday night seems pretty cool. And then I can, you know, I just have like a nice relaxing day Saturday and then I start my work week back up on Sunday. Um... I gotta scroll back a little bit. Sherry says, I have seen the worst in people probably in the last three months. It's shocking what's happening. Everything is happening to somebody in about them. They can't see, can't see outside of them. Those. Sherry, I agree with you. Like something happened during the past couple of years and it's getting, it's getting worse. And I think that's my topic is that, you know, like I'm just gonna give you like a basic example. This is so basic. But like, I started to think about the way that I think about certain things. 
like we we hear things and we're like, oh, that's gross or that's stupid or whatever. Like I heard a girl, some girl on YouTube and she was like, you know, raised her arm and she's like, I'm no longer shaving my armpit hairs. And at first I'm like, girl, shave your arms. And I'm thinking like, why do I care what she does with her armpit hair? <laughs> Let your armpit hair grow, braid it up, do it, put some crystals on it, do whatever you want to do. If you, like, why does, why does that, irri like, why would that even, it didn't like irritate me, but it, like my first thought was, ew, why? Because everybody else thinks that's gross. Other cultures don't shave their armpit hairs. Guys don't shave their armpit hairs. Like, I think sometimes we just automatically react and we don't stop and think about people have their own lives they can do whatever they want. <laughs> it doesn't have to make sense to me. It doesn't have to make sense to you. And it doesn't have to anger us in the process if that person makes a decision to do something that's outside of the norm. And that kind of falls in line with living a different type of a lifestyle, even as a nomad or, you know, just any different lifestyle than from the norm. But we're, we're kind of so pigeonholed into the way we think. Anything that we've been like taught over the years or heard of that we think is just like off we just automatically judge that person based on those thoughts and I you know started thinking this was a while ago when I saw that video and I was thinking I need to stop every time I make that kind of a judgment of like ew or that's gross or that's wrong or whatever whatever even if I feel in that moment strongly about something I need to stop and think why do I feel like that because I have been th taught that or I've, t you know, heard this so many times over the years or whatever. So when it comes down to like being neighbors, why, why do we feel like, you know, this is my space and nobody should, you know, come around me. It's like, you know, I, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. Like I believe in like social distancing and stuff, but you know what I'm trying to say? Um, Do, 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 do. Uh, let me scroll back. Oh, okay. Matt says, just recently found your channel. Yes, I did subscribe. Awesome, Matt Z. Welcome to the snack pack. Tracy says, whoop, whoop, to your Friday night live stream. Uh, let's see. Karen says, it's because they don't know you. I wouldn't like a strange car vans parked in front of my house either. I wouldn't rant and scream though. Yeah, that's true. But I wasn't parked in front of anyone's house. I was parked um, like where there was a fence on this side and a fence on this side, you know. So it wasn't like directly in front of anyone's house. But I do hear what you're saying. Like I, c I can understand like it might be unsettling if there's just like a random van in your neighborhood. Because they, you know, you might start thinking, are they going to rob me? But also, it shouldn't be the first thought. Yeah, you can be neighborly to everyone in the world. Sally says, you do not look like you're in your 40s, 30s. Ignore the toxic man yelling and saying, <laughs> thank you. Um, perhaps introducing yourself on arrival and ask if it would bother them if the hour is not late. If it was my place, I would have introduced myself to you and get your story. Uh, JD, that's a tricky one because as a woman, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to like invite people to know that I'm in my van because I don't think I'd feel comfortable falling asleep because I'm like, is this somebody's going to break in here? Like they know I'm in here. Also, I usually do when I'm parking for the night, I usually try to go later at night. So I don't, don't disturb anybody. Like I just roll up at like 10 at night and then I usually leave pretty early in the morning. So I don't bother anybody. Lance says, pray for him. Sounds like he needs it. I definitely did. When I left, first I was irritated and then I was like, let me calm down and pray for this man because something's going on for him to be that irate. Um, thank you, Sally. Um, Janet says, I'm waiting for the opportunity to say, do you know what menopause is? <laughs> I could knock you out. I mean, that is so true because I, I get these hot flashes and it's just like, bro, I, I'm not in the mood for your yelling, bro. I'm, I'm too hot. Hydration alarm. I love you guys so much for reminding me. Because I haven't drank that much water today. So Allison, he would have figured out someone is in my van because of my chihuahua. I mean, that's true. 
Oh, Terry Zaleski, $25 on PayPal. Ooh, ooh. Okay, um, I'll do that one. It's like, he shoots, he scores. <sighs> I'm trying to think from the top of my head what these sounds are. That's that's the sound I could think of right away. And then, cha-ching, cha-ching. That's my impromptu sounds. Thank you, Terry, so much. You are a blessing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Terry, we need to catch up soon. Um. Yes, 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 yes. Terry's in the house. Mod motel should start renting overnight van RV spots. Then you have some security. Uh, yeah, that's true. But I mean, whenever I go to like hotels or motels, they usually have so many spots. If they don't have a lot of spots, I don't park there. Um, but they usually have so many open spots. They, you know, they could just park there for free. I know you're probably not supposed to, but I haven't had any problems. I wonder what his neighbors think about this. I don't know, Judy. Yeah, Robert, you are my neighbor on the earth. <laughs> Put it in the rear view mirror and don't forget to visit the Casa Bonita wire. So the Casa Bonita, I've been wanting to go and they're closed. They're temporarily closed. They have new owners. Um, and if you go on their Instagram, it says they're getting close to reopening. But I was, it's in the same, as far as what you're talking about, I think, I think it's in the same parking lot as the Planet Fitness that I was going to while I've been here. Um, so I want to go there and they're not open. There's a lot of places that are temporarily closed, you guys. Like, I'm out here and there's a lot of places that permanently closed, temporarily closed, or are closed because it's not even, like, really spring. So it's different out here now in these streets. <laughs> Crystal says, yes, we're all neighbors in one way or another. Yes, that's true. I mean, what if I moved to Colorado and I moved next door to this guy? I'd be, I'd be his neighbor. You know, anyone can be a neighbor at any time. You just never know. Hey, the Jamie Project. This is why I park at Walmart because people are missing one too many screws. You know, I used to park at Walmarts when I was first in my living in my car. Uh, and the two times I got the dreaded knock was at Walmarts. So I gave up on Walmarts. 223 Katrina, they sell the Nana Bread half the size of the large ones you showed on your shopping trip to Trader Joe's. Which banana bread? Because I do like a good banana bread. Gina says, if possible, as far as it depends on you, be peaceable with all men. Romans 12, 8. Moving was the right thing to do. You used your power for good. Amen to that, Gina. I love that. I love that scripture, too. One of my neighbors had a train in his living room. Oh, dang. Um, Tammy sent $25. Ooh, ooh, I can't tell if it's Cash App or I'm not sure. But thank you so much, Tammy. Um, oh, you know what I'm going to try to attempt? This could be real bad. I'm going to attempt the yodeling one. Here we go. Get ready to cover your ears. Yodele, 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 ooh, cha-ching. <laughs> I'm a little more wild on a Friday night. Listen, I got to give you the sounds because I don't, I can't do it on my phone because I'm on my phone. Thank you so much, Tammy. I appreciate you very, very much. Um, that is a true blessing. Thank you. Um, Terry says, Allison, our driveway is always open. I know, like I keep tempting, I'm tempted to go to the East Coast because then I can see Terry, I can see my <clears throat> friends in Florida, my friend uh, in Georgia, and also I can go see the Sorgi family up in Pennsylvania, and then my friend Sandra up in New York. I'm really tempted. Um, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, Robbie, you shave your toes. I do shave my toes sometimes, but I don't know. Mm. Let's see. Her body, her choice for real. Crazy double standard. That's true. That's true. That's true. Good point. Hey, Tina's the outsiders in the house. Ooh, ooh, Tina has a really cool podcast. You guys should be following her. Thomas says some guys shave all over. That's true too. Hey, hot tiger. How are you? 
Fred says, my feeling is if it doesn't affect my wallet, what do you, what you do, I don't care. Do you, I'm going to do me. That's a good point. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Gina K. Landis is in the house. We started at 7.15 Mountain Time, which would have been 6.15 Pacific. <coughs> Terry says, wait till menopause hits and you get goat hairs on your face. Just saying, I'm still shaving. I feel you on that. I still shave my armpits. I'm not, you know, I'm not at that place where I would want to grow my armpit hairs because I think it'd be too sweaty. But, I, but you know, if somebody wants to grow their armpit hairs, I don't even care. So do you shave? How many people here do you shave? I shave my armpits for sure. I have been moderating Reed Timmer's YouTube channel, Tornado... Wait, whose armpit? <laughs> it's Gina. <laughs> Some girl on YouTube. I, I, forget, I forget who I was watching, but she said she's no longer shaving her armpit hairs and... You know, I was like, oh, that's an odd choice. But then I was like, you do what you want to do, girl. Thanks, uh, other Gina, for uh, the scripture. Let's see. People seem to think we should dictate what you do with your body, but your body is your body. You are the only one who sees, touch, and cares for daily facts. Yes, right. His feet is down currently. Oh, dang, that's crazy. Have to be really have to really be careful with fans because you don't know them yes that's true i'm actually surprised this sort of thing happened didn't happen to you sooner it happened to me as an uber driver just trying to take a nap in my car before i went home oh my gosh it's just crazy to me it's just crazy we just we need to like we need to like get to this point where like, it is a fine line, you know, I try to be fair. I, I try to be fair. Also, I'm trying to think if I should move because it's getting dark in here. I'll move, I'll move back here. Ah! Oh. Also, I just saw a cute guy outside, but he was with a girl. This is, this is what's happening out here. You know what, actually, let me put my shades back up because it's, now that the light's on, people can see in. Okay. Let's see here. Let me take my shoes off so I don't get my bed dirty. And, oh man. Okay, hold, hold on a second. I gotta put my shades on back here. see sorry for all the movement okay what was what was I talking about let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see Is it warm there? Fire, it's it's a little bit chilly and rainy. Not rainy, windy. Um, but I had just taken a walk right before the live stream, so I was a little warmer, but now it is getting a little chilly, so I'm looking for my sweater, which I'll put one on soon. I use this cute pink shaver. Oh, cute. <laughs> Robert. They probably say, Oh, dang, he's gone nuts again. Probably. Nice, nice. Oh, interesting, Gina. Terry says, Alleluia. Alleluia. Um, have you ever been ticketed for any reason? Um, 
not since I've been living in a vehicle. I mean, I've been ticketed for speeding, but that was, I haven't gotten a ticket in like forever, but I've gotten a few speeding tickets in my life. Probably just like, I'd say probably at the most three or four tickets in my whole life, maybe more like three. I can't remember. And of course, par you know, a couple parking tickets when I parked on a meter or something like that. Um, I think the sufferers just released a song appropriate for this story called don't bother me. <laughs> I don't even know who the suffers are. Is it what type of music is that? Kim says I'm a dispatcher and I can't believe the stuff people call in about. Nobody seems to want to be a community oriented anymore. They won't talk to each other. Just call and complain. I mean, that is so true. That is so true. We have to get back to like being kinder to each other. I think what I was trying to say is like, it's not lost on me that people want to be safe, you know, and, and I don't know the answer. I don't have all the answers, but you know, like I know that it can be really off putting to, if you're used to your neighborhood and you're used to the cars in that neighborhood and you know that, you know, who usually comes and goes, it could be really off putting if there's a strange vehicle in your neighborhood. So in that sense, I do get I do get it. And I'm not, I don't want to be a jerk and be like, oh, he should just allow me to do whatever I want because, you know, I'm not like the end all be all of, of this world. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know how we can resolve this because people can travel, like people can go places and not everybody wants to stay in hotels and stuff and spend all the money. So I don't know. Oh, before I read some of these messages, I want to tell you guys, I'm not an affiliate. Maybe I should have looked it up. <laughs> Maybe I should, could have been an affiliate. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, starting May 1st, if you, so if you want to join um, Boondockers Welcome, if you guys don't know what that is, Boondockers Welcome is, it used to be an app. It's a website where regular people will offer up their driveways or like their side, like the side of their house or, you know, I don't know, basically that's it. Um, it's regular people. It's like Airbnb for allowing people to park at your house. And they're usually $50 a year to join that. And they have people that are on there from all, pretty much all states. Um, it's going to be $50 until May 1st. And then it's going to go up, I think, $20 more to $70. So if you have been considering Boondockers Welcome, you should join. I just joined last night. And also on top of that, I think um, Harvest Host bought Boondockers Welcome. So they're, they're joining together. So if you've thought about Harvest Host, uh, if you join Boondockers Welcome for the $50 price, when you join, they ask you, do you also want to join Harvest Host for, I think it was like 80 extra dollars for the year, which that Harvest Host allows you to stay at wineries, farms, breweries, and other places like that. Uh, so... If you've been considering doing it, it wasn't on my list of things to buy, but I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to try to get it later and it's more expensive. So I did join both of those. So once they combine on May 1st, I think the price is going to go up. So if you've been considering doing it, do it before May 1st, because the price is going to go up. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. You can come see me in Michigan. Awesome. I would love to come to Michigan. Is it still freezing up there? Because I heard Michigan is cold. Yes, it's better on the East Coast, Sandra says. I might come to the East Coast. You never know. I might just get a wild hair and just be like, you know what? I, I feel like every time I tr keep trying to go to Idaho, something comes up and I don't get to Idaho. Like I really want to go to Coeur d'Alene and like all the beautiful places, but maybe I just might just start journeying East. I don't know. Like I said, I'm trying, I'm just trying to get back to basics and just do, just go where God guides me instead of trying to like hit all the proper States and stuff. I don't know. I'm just like, you know, trying to get back to basics. You should little yodel outside his window at midnight. Lance, that's funny. That is so funny. Could you imagine? Oh, yeah. oh Nana bread. Oh, non bread. Non bread for your wrap sandwich. 
with the veggie tots you said use half of one that's the ones i buy oh yeah yeah i've bought the ones from trader joe's and they are delicious too um i had already had these from when i went to walmart so yeah usually i buy them for trader joe's um any other crazy van stories since you've lived in that van i have a few crazy van stories which i'm gonna save for another time uh but yeah i do have a few other van crazy van stories it's slowly getting dark in the van yes uh hey dad g hey girl hey i shave <laughs> this is gonna be the new greeting do you shave i shave <laughs> tina from mobile alabama awesome besides donations how do you afford to live just curious because i'm interested in doing this tina i only the only way i make money is through donations and through youtube ads youtube like just making the videos my money's been going down on youtube i don't know my videos aren't doing as well so either people are like sick of me or your youtube or the youtube algorithms doing some weird things um but you know what god provides i never worry about it i never do because i'm frugal and if my money dips then i just eat less <laughs> did you wax your windshield yet i haven't waxed my windshield but i really need to because my what's i don't know what it's called the 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 canister that holds the windshield wiper fluid where you can like twist that button or not button twist that little thing or hit the button and it like squirts up the the juice on your windshield and then you can something's wrong with my canister because i've had it filled up a few times like when i have my oil changed and like within a day or two it's empty so i think there might be a crack in it or there's a, a wire or not a wire but like there's a tube that's not connected or something like it does squirt up a little bit and then and then it's empty so something's happening to where it's draining too fast like when i open the the like lever to to squirt it up that sounds really bad <laughs> but when i do it like goes and then it stops and then i looked at the canister and it's empty again when i know it's just should be full so i do need to wax my windshield because It'll be, it'll be better. Um, let's see. What's the longest you've ever spent in one place? I want to live out of my car in Miami for three to six months and train at a martial arts academy. Ooh, that sounds awesome, Chris. Um, the longest I've stayed in one place. So I hovered around San Diego for a few months, like probably at least three months, probably longer. Um, and, and it's illegal to sleep in your car in San Diego. So you can make it work. You just have to, you know, be crafty and find the places in that area that, you know, is more f like van friendly or vehicle friendly. If I don't know what kind of vehicle you have, but if it's just a car, you could get away with that pretty, a lot easier than a van. So I think you could do it. Um, you would just want to like keep moving so you don't call attention to yourself <laughs> Robert I guess I am taking you all to bed with me that sounds also very bad but you know it's PG in here we should do a chat together soon yes Tina let's uh let's chat nighttime routine Kirstie Allison yes Terry says I hate when that happens when you see a cute guy and shizzle there's a girl on his arm cool shades yeah i'm like man what am i doing wrong out here like i'm cute i think like you know these dudes they just don't they just don't i don't know um that's thinking that's that's too advanced robbie i don't think i can yodel people's names i am five seven fred do you cover your front windshield as well? I, I used to when I was in my car, but I, I don't do it in my van. Um, something's loading. Tammy, I don't know if this is an older message, but you just already cashed up me, but it says you're sending another 25. So Tammy, if you're sending multiple, uh, multiple donations, thank you, Tammy. That is so generous and such a blessing. And I'm going to give you, let's see. There's one that, that sounds like a little like slot machine. It's like do 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 da cha ching. 
Hooray! <laughs> if somebody's outside of my van, they're probably like, what is going on in this van? She's making all these weird sounds. And they, they might call the cops because they think I'm in here going crazy. But thank you, Tammy, so much. Um, I do want to get some um, front windshield covers. I don't want to make them because the windshield is just too big. Um, I've heard really good things about the WeatherTech windshield covers. Um, so I'm considering that. But they're like a hundred and something dollars. So I don't know. What time is it where I am and what's the weather like? Um, I don't know what time it is because I can't see on my phone what, what time. I'm using my phone to live stream, so I can't see what time it is. I think it's probably about 8.15. I'm a mountain mountain time. And it's a little bit chilly. Uh, I don't know what the weather is. Nice. So I should have nothing to be concerned about living out of my SUV. You guys are inspirational. Awesome. Yeah, I don't think you'll have a problem. Um, last night, I'm not going to even lie to you guys. Last night, I was like kind of pissed off. I was like, not, not pissed. That's the wrong word. I was like, man, I wish I was back in my car because this would not be an issue. This van is so big and so like out there. It's not stealthy. <laughs> There's times where I legit wish I was back in my car, but then I think about not having a toilet and then I'm like, oh, thank you. Thank you, toilet. I love you so much. Yes, I said I love my toilet because, listen, I go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and it's just like luxury. Um, Hey, Amy, how are you? Uh, Boondockers, welcome. Grant, do you have a link? Um, Thank you, Grant. Or, yeah, yes, thank you for posting that. Um, let's see. Imagine you got sponsored by a big hotel chain. Oh, that would be super awesome. I would not tell them that I used to park in their parking lot for free though. <laughs> um, ooh, have not heard of Boondockers Welcome, but I've heard of Harvest Hosts. Oh, Stephanie paid $20. Safe travels to you. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Thank you for the, the super chat or the, uh, I think it was a PayPal. Um, let me finish this and then I'll give you your shout out. Let's see. Boondorkers welcome, but I've heard of Harvest Hosts. The, har the harvest is just for the rigs with hookups though. So Harvest Host, and actually I believe Boondorkers welcome since now Harvest Host, um, bought them. You have to have a, I believe you have to have a toilet and a gray, a separate gray water tank. It doesn't have to be like, I don't think it has to be luxurious, but I think when I signed up, it asked that specific question. It's like, is your rig outfitted with a toilet and a gray water tank? Um, so I don't know how advanced it has to be, but I, I, I do know that was a question they asked. So it's just something to consider. Um, Stephanie, your shout out is, um, oh, how, let's see. Um, What's the other ones that are on that app? I'm trying to think of all the ones that I used and now I'm drawing a blank. Oh, oh, you know what? I used to have like a little party horn in here, but I don't have it anymore. Um, do, 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 that's your party horn. That's the sound I can think of. Hooray, hooray. And we'll give you like an ovation, a standing ovation. Well, a sitting ovation. Thank you so much, Stephanie. I appreciate that. Come to North Carolina. Uh, yeah, I would love to. Um, Southwest Michigan was sunny and 65 degrees. Oh, okay. That's not too cold. Um, Gina says you would love North Carolina. Allison, so nice. So uh, I drove through North, North Carolina. I didn't stop because when I was there last year, it was way too hot. Um, but yeah, I, I think that'd be great. It was pretty when I drove through. Yes, Robbie. If I come that direction, I'll definitely come see you. Um, Harvest Host is the way to go if you come back to the East Coast. Yes. Well, I have it now. So the only thing with Harvest Host is that they do like kind of encourage you, not kind of, but they really encourage you to like, if you stay the night there, then like if it's say a winery, then they think, you know, they say like go in and buy a bottle of wine or if you're at a brewery, go buy some beer or like 
at a farm, go buy some of their whatever they're selling. Um, I don't drink. So if, if I stay in those places, I would probably just, you know, like buy, you know, something. They usually have snacks at wineries like cheese board or, you know, sausage or I don't know, whatever they got. Um, so if they only have wine or alcohol, I mean, they can't expect you to buy something that you don't drink. But they do really encourage like a t almost like a $20 donation every time you stay somewhere. So I probably wouldn't use Harvest House all the time. But the other thing is I, I got it last night and then I looked and everything was kind of booked up for a week here in Denver. So I think more people are getting to know about it and it's going to get start to get more backed up. So if you're thinking about doing it, you should probably get it now. Um, so yeah. Patricia says, hey, South Australia time, so missed a bit. We'll replay. Awesome. Welcome, welcome. Michigan just warmed up today. Hopefully it stays warm. 32 degrees needs to go far away. I want to move back into my minivan this week. Oh, awesome. I had Harvest Host. Everything was full. Come to Central Florida. Deb G, I've heard that from some people that, you know, everything gets filled up. So I'll see, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to try it out. And if I don't like it, then I'll just cancel it. I need North Virginia, Terry to see sister who just lives outside of DC. Awesome. It would be, it would be great grant to see you and Allison get together. I, I mean, I would love to go to Canada, so hopefully I can go up there soon. Um, speaking of grant, uh, did you guys know, I know you didn't cause I'm just going to tell you for the first time that I've, I've never talked to grant on the phone or like anything except for like we usually communicate on DM on Instagram and Grant the other day, he was like, do you want to talk on the phone? <laughs> and I was like, Oh no, did I do something wrong? Because I just was like feeling like everyone was like mad at my videos or not mad, but just like over it. And then he's like, no, he's just like, we've never talked and I think it'd be good to do so. And so we got on a phone call. We were on the phone for like three hours and it was just like such a good feeling to just be like, Oh, like I could put, you know, uh, like, like an audible to this person that's so instrumental in travel snacks. And it was so amazing. So, uh, it was just awesome. And like, I always tell you guys to connect with each other and Grant took it, you know, to heart. And he was like, let's get on a call and, you know, so connect with each other. I think it's good. Um, so let's see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I hope one day I can buy a van and live in the van life for a year. Your channel is really nice, but thank you, M.A. I hope you can too, and thank you for saying that. Hot Tiger, I think the winter lasted longer this year. Nice and cool in western Washington. No snow or anything but now, but yeah. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. I think so. The winter's been hanging on. I'm like, come on now. Let's move on. Um, yes, 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 yes. This planet needs an enema. That is such a true statement. I mean, honestly, really. And Terry said, that would be so cool. Grant, maybe Allison could come to Canada by way of Michigan. That would be cool. Everyone does van life different. Some travel more and some don't. That's true. Hey, Patricia coming through with the $2. Ooh, I'm going to give you a drum roll. Hooray. Thank you so much, Patricia. I appreciate it very, very much. That is a blessing. Thank you so much. Ooh, Grant, thank you for blocking that weird person. Hey, Hope, how are you from Texas? Yeehaw. Michigan is gorgeous weather in spring, summer, and fall. You guys are really selling me on the Michigan and the and the North Carolina. Like it sounds it sounds awesome. I'm I'm get I'm getting ready to like leave Colorado. I, I thought I was gonna go to Colorado Springs, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm ready to like move on. I've been in Denver like way longer than I thought it was gonna be. Um, Robert. Um, so yeah, I think I'm getting ready to leave probably like Monday or Tuesday. I think Terry's got to run. Good to chat. Um, I have to help my elderly dad get in bed. God bless you. God bless you, Terry. We'll have to catch up soon. Um, Gina says you're cute, Allison and carry yourself. Well, lots of people don't like strong women. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, Chris says, do you use Reddit or what other social platforms are seeking advice on places to sleep at any place? I have a Reddit account, but I don't really go on it very much. Um, in terms of places to sleep, I have checked on iOverlander, but it's hit or miss with that. Um, so I just usually like 
95% of the time will either sleep in a hotel parking lot or in a uh, neighborhood, like a residential neighborhood. Um, or if there's like an industrial area that there's like other cars parked there, if it's not too shady. Um, yeah, that's, I don't, yeah. I've gone to two auto glass shops and either want 2K or ask me out for a nightcap. Oh, they're going wanting you to pay in a different way, Dora. I can be a moderator if you need one now. Um, we have our two moderators, but thank you, Tina. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> you are cute. It's because you're high vibe and an older soul. They don't know how to handle you. Maybe. I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, honestly, like the other day I went into the Safeway. This was really a weird situation. Um, I went into Safeway. I forget what I was getting. I think I was getting some fruit or something. And I was checking out. And then as I was walking out, this young 20-something-year-old boy, <laughs> he was cute. He was like, like kind of like a Chris Brown-looking kid. Uh, he runs up to me like as I'm walking out. He worked there. He was like, ma'am, 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 ma'am. And I'm like, what? Like, cause I just did the self checkout. I thought maybe I forgot something. He's like, yo, um, can I get your number? And I laughed and I didn't mean to laugh, but like I laughed be and he's like, yo, why are you laughing? And I was like, oh, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing because you're probably the same age as my son. And then he's like, what's that got to do with anything? And I'm like, oh, a little sweetie. No, like you're in your twenties, bro. Like, I didn't tell him how old I was, but I was just thinking, I wonder if your mother would know that you're hitting up on, like, almost a 50-year-old, what she would be thinking. And he's like, so, can I get your number, though? And I was like, no. And then he's like, but can I take you out to dinner? And I was like, you are too sweet, but no. Like, I appreciate that, but no. He's like, oh, man. I'm like, but you can follow me on Travel Snacks. So, I, I mean, hopefully he comes on here and he'll be part of the snack pack. But he was just young and like he was, he was trying. And, you know, I told him, I said, you know, I appreciate your confidence. Don't ever lose that because dudes in their 30s and 40s and 50s, they don't even approach girls like women anymore. They don't they don't ask for numbers. They don't they don't take the chance. But this young kid did. Uh, and that happened to me in Vegas, too. Like a younger guy asked me for my number. Um, so I did walk out there out of there feeling kind of like flattered you know like oh you know maybe I'm still a little cute but he was in his 20s so I was like it's it's gonna be a hundred percent no for me like I will not date anybody in their 20s my kids are 20 in their 20s that's a no so I don't know like and I do understand that like I do understand because uh a lot of times what happens is like over the years um there's been groups of women that have really become hostile against men. And even if a man approaches a woman now, some certain women, they'll be like, "Ew, get away or don't approach me. Or like, they get like really aggressive and it's ruining it for women like me who like to be approached, you know? And so I think a lot of guys have been like, you know what, then forget it. Cause like, I don't know if I should approach or not approach. Is it, is it appropriate? Is it not appropriate? And I think it's appropriate. Like it goes along the line of being a nice neighbor. Like if somebody approaches you and you don't like their look or you don't like their vibe, just be kind. Just be like, you know what? No, thank you. No, it's okay. Don't be mean. Don't be like, Ew, get away from me. It's mean. And women need to like start being respectful to men. You know, like obviously if a man's being gross, then that's a different story. But I think a lot of guys are just, you know, out here just trying to be regular people too. You know, like all of us. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't have all the answers. Um, let's see. Oh, let's see. I gotta scroll back. Um, Okay, Hot Tiger says, are there any other places where you can sleep legally in Cali besides San Diego? That's a good question. I'm not sure. Like, I've slept in a bunch of places in California, like in, in the streets, you know, on, on neighborhoods. I've slept in uh, in San Francisco area. I've slept in, like, uh, you guys might not know, like Riverside County, San Bernardino County, Palm Springs. Like, I still do it, you know? 
Um, I don't know what the laws are. I don't check every time and I probably should, but I try to just like stay out of people's way. But I've slept in many places in California in my van and in my car. Patricia says, I'm unemployed, but when I get work, heaps of super chaps, chat, what? Heaps of super chats your way. Thank you so much, Patricia. And don't worry about it at all. I appreciate that sentiment all the way. Um, Jake says, don't forget that I live in Georgia. Awesome. Georgia is one of my favorite places. It's so beautiful. And I love all the green trees. Tracy says, my internet went down. I am back. Welcome back, Tracy. Tina says, the OG catch that hot guys and girls crap. <laughs> Um, I am in Denver currently. It's a hot tiger. Men don't approach women in real life. Harley, they are all fantasizing online. I mean, that is, that's true. It's true. Nothing wrong with fantasizing. There is nothing wrong with like, you know, I mean, if you're being skeevy about it, you know, people like we're all humans out here. So it's like, you know, I know we all have our own ways of thinking about things, but also like I think it's fine to approach people and be kind and just like, you don't have to have like pickup lines. You could just be like, Hey, like, you know, I think you're interesting or you look nice or whatever. Can I get your number? If someone says no, then it's just like, no, it's like no big deal, but nobody should be mean to each other about it. Tracy says, Oh yeah, it'd be so nice to have a toilet. I mean, I do love my toilet. Men thrive on fantasy and these websites prey on it. It's true. Men are visual. They, they like the visuals. Robbie, I poop in a bucket. I mean, technically I do too. I poop in a trash can. Gina says, no composting toilet then. Hmm, I want to find out. I think you probably can, Gina, but I don't know the 100% rules. But my toilet's just, I mean, it's technically just a trash can. Uh, Tina says, you can't be in a minivan or a car with Harvest Host. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I wonder if you had it decked out, like if you had a little toilet in there in like a gray water situation. I'm not sure. You'd have to show them pictures probably. Deb G, my chihuahuas bark like crazy at a light bug. I'm thinking someone will break in to save her. Aw. Hey, Bernadette. Um, Bernadette says, don't know how that poo ended up on there. Oh my, sorry. Uh, lost on land again. I never tried a harvest host, but have heard good things. I didn't realize you had to buy a subscription. Yeah, it's not free. It's not free. Um, Robbie, I want to talk on the phone. Robbie, send me a DM on Instagram. It was a great call, Grant. Three hours went by like nothing. It was, we were like chatting it up and then I was just like, we've been on here forever. But it was like, we haven't, we've been like knowing each other through these live streams and stuff on this channel for like two years. So, you know, we had to catch up. Never over your videos, Allison. Thank you, Tracy. I appreciate that. Still cool in Boston. Awesome. That's another place I want to go. Ooh, Tracy, you got free calling to America and Canada. That's awesome. Lost on land again. It's hot in Texas already. I believe that. Not looking forward to the summer at all. Yeah. I definitely am not looking for the hot summer. That's for sure. you got to come up to New England in the fall. It's beautiful. I would love to do that. Where are you planning on going next? I don't know. Honestly, Amy, I don't know. I'm, I'm debating whether I should keep going up north like Wyoming, Montana, and then back to Idaho. Or if I should go east. I, I just don't even know, to be honest. I'm going to have to pray about it. Tomorrow's my day off, so I can just, you know, lay around in my van and maybe get like a nice iced coffee and think about my next moves. Um, so I'll keep you guys posted. Um, hey, Gregory, how are you? Hey, Marge from North Carolina. Hey, SVR coming through with a four ninety nine. dollars 99 Ooh, ooh. Um... Let's give you, oh, you guys got to give me some hints of the things that I use, like on these uh, sounds for the donations. Um, what are some of the other ones? Some of them are just sounds that I can't, that's a, that's one that I just made up myself. <laughs> so thank you so much for the 499 SBR. I gotta put my 
Ah, my charger on the back of this phone. So I can charge this. What the heck? Hold on a second. Charging. Hopefully it's charging. Okay. Um, okay. Lori says, just reported three spam postings of sexual content websites. Jeez. I know they've been coming in like crazy on the regular videos. It's nuts. Uh, Maddie G says, I'd come this way she wrote texas messenger me i'll go you directions give you directions i live out in the country with a very long driveway you can park for free your front windshield will be facing cows and horseback that'd be so cool yeah if i come to Te i do want to get to texas at some point to see my son in dallas so i don't know how far that is but yeah um Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What's the most difficult state or place to live out of your car in? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I can't really answer that because I didn't have any really bad problems in my car. The only time I got the dreaded knock was in, I think it was in New Mexico in the Walmart there. But other than that, like, you know, the other thing is when I went to Florida, because they don't have like some places in Florida don't have sidewalks. They just have like in the in the neighborhoods. They just have like flat like it's grass and then to the street. So it's like you would look out of place there as well. Hope says you're such a hoot. Your personality rocks. Thank you so much. It is strawberries are in season. Oh, awesome. Uh, Crystal says, I can hardly wait to get out and do my first adventure. <laughs> That's awesome. And meet other like-minded people. I'm still down here in deep South Texas where I live. Awesome. You'll get there. You'll get there. Uh, <laughs> Fred, I'm 53. Can I have your number? <laughs> I, now, I'm not just going to be giving out my number on here. The only reason Grant has my number is because we've been knowing each other for like two years. Thank you, Robert. Wilmington, North Carolina beaches. Ooh, that sounds nice. <clears throat> I haven't been to the beach in a while. Last on An Ansland. I can't see that. Hello, you're still cute. Not trying to be creepy. By the way, I'm 45. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Tina. Uh, to each their own. Let's see. Yeah, I agree, Allison. I can't date um, certain age groups because of my adult kids' age. Yeah, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. The the Tinder thing has changed everything. People don't bother talking, taking a chance now. That's true, Lance. That's true. Grant says, what's dating? What's dating? Dating's no longer dating. Dating is trash now. It's just trash. Hey, Brenda, how are you? Hope says, why don't you cover your front window now? Um, I'm in a park and I can just hear people walking by. It's like a public park and nobody really cares. Okay, y'all. My mom took my stepdad to be... Oh, okay. Jake's back. I hope your stepdad is doing better. I hope he's breathing better. <laughs> Lance, <laughs> I poop in a bucket. I do not recommend this as a pickup line. Yeah, that's, that's probably not going to get you a date. Judy says, I'm in North Alabama. If you are... Ever passing through, I live on 60 acres. You're welcome to park as long as you would like. Thank you so much, Judy. Judy, That's awesome. I do love Alabama. It was really beautiful when I went. Um, bye, Lori. Thank you for being here. Hey, Clayton from Wisconsin. Hey, Gabe from Wyoming. <clears throat> hey, Curtis from Iowa. Tina says, do you have a list of places you want to see in the States that are around you? So I, I've been to Wyoming before. I don't think I've been to Montana before. So I want to do that. I want to go to Yellowstone. Um, but I'm kind of waiting for my friend Adriana to come back. Uh, she's in Uruguay. 
um, cause she wants to go there too. And so I thought we would go together. Um, so, and then I want to get back to Idaho cause that was my original place. I don't know why. I just think there's so many things I want to see in Idaho. Um, so there's, those are the places that I kind of want to go to before I leave this kind of vicinity of the mountain States. But at the same time, you know, if God leaves me somewhere else, then that's so be it. Oh, a golf clap for donation would be nice. Okay, if someone does another donation, I'll give a golf clap. If I remember how to do a golf golf clap. Hot Tiger. Western Washington has no snow. I don't know about Eastern. Oh, interesting. Oh, thanks, Grant. My friend in Texas told me there were two seasons there. February and the rest of the year. Hot. Yes, that's probably true. Um, Mountain Wanderer. Tie-dye. Loving your videos. I'll watch your HOA video. When I need a good laugh, it's seriously crazy how picky they are about some things. That that's true. That's a that's a true post. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Through hike with hey, come out to the Grand Canyon Flagstaff area. Great boondocking around here. Awesome. I've been to the Grand Canyon and it is awesome over there. Uh, Wilmington, North Carolina weather is low eighties max with breeze of wind. Ooh, low eighties is pretty nice. Hey Sheila, how are you? It's autumn fall here, so it's a bit chilly today. Oh, interesting. <laughs> awesome, awesome. What is going on with these best cams? The heck? Turtle ground. Be careful boondocking in Humboldt County, California. Do not go south of Trinidad. Lots of window smashing going on. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know if that's like over by Oakland, maybe. I don't know, but there's certain places like in Oakland that are doing smash and grabs as well. Hey, Janice, how are you? Bernadette, stay safe. Safe travels, gotta run, but wanna stay safe. Uh, thank you for being here, Bernadette. You have a great evening. Um, hey, Karen from California. Uh, Robert says, dating nowadays is like buying a car. You gotta test drive what, you, <clears throat> what you're getting to make sure you're getting what you're looking for. Uh, I don't know. I think people need to just relax on like trying to do the most with dating. Like you could just go out for a coffee and get to know somebody. Like, it could be just be simple. AGT coming with the five dollars for the golf cup. Is this the golf club? Is that right? Did I do it right? Or is it like this? I don't know. But that's your golf clap. That's your silent golf clap. Um, Yellowstone and the Bitterroot Mountains are amazing. Great boondocking around that area as well. Ooh, awesome. That's good to know. Cause I've never, I've never been. Is there a fake grant in the chat? I don't know. If there's a fake grant, he's not going to have a little wrench next to his name. Lance says in Idaho, you must go get out to craters of the moon. It's bees knees. Okay. So I, when I was in, <clears throat> excuse me, when I was in Idaho for like a hot two days, and then it started to snow. I wanted to go to Craters of the Moon and it was closed. And the road, the loop road to get there was closed because of this. It was still, I, it had, it said there was on the website, it says there was still ice in the caves. And so they did, they weren't open yet. So I want to get there. Janice is fashionably late. Um, Amy says, I am in Eastern Washington. There's no snow here, but the rain has been off and on for last month. I love rain, so I think that would be awesome. Coffee and brunch is like a mini short test drive. I mean, that's fair. I personally do not like to be taken out for dinner on a first date. I think it's too much pressure. I just like to go out for like a coffee or like a walk at the park or like something basic, um, a smoothie or something just to see like if you even like get a good connection with somebody and then you just like you know if you have a good connection and you end up chit chatting and talking and stuff like that then great and if not then you haven't done too much you know done too much um i don't know golf is now pretty rowdy at times oh i don't watch golf so i'm not sure Lance says, hey, just riffing here, but how about donation? A donation dab. Okay, I'm going to give a dab next time I get a donation. Good one, Lance. Good one. 
Hey y'all, I haven't heard anything uh, from the doctor yet. Okay, Jake, keep us posted. Um, I hope he's doing better. Uh, Hot Tiger says, yes, coffee or park is perfect. It is perfect. Then you don't have to put too much effort. And I really don't think that guys should be out here spending like 50 bucks, 100 bucks, 200 bucks on a first date. I, I just don't think it's a good idea. Because if you're dating to get, you know, get out there and like meet a lot of different girls, women, then you're going to be spending your whole paycheck on some of these girls that are ungrateful. So I don't think women should expect that on a first date. That's just me. That's just my own opinion. But I just have never, I just don't think that's a good idea. Hey, where you're at, I can afford, <laughs> I can afford a smoothie. <laughs> um, I couldn't have been driving through that snow. I do okay in rain, however. Rain is okay. Uh, Stephanie Hood paid you $20 on Venmo. Stephanie, is that a new donation? I can't tell because I can't see. Like, usually I can look at my notifications. But anyways, Stephanie, if it's a new donation, I'm going to give you a dab. I'm going to give you another dab and another dab. That's your three dab, three dab situation for the $20 donation. Ooh, that rhymed. Ooh, I'm getting good. Hey, maybe I should be a rapper. That's a terrible idea. Thank you so much, Stephanie. It is a blessing. Even if that was the original donation, I still appreciate you. Um, what else can I do for donations? <coughs> um, Grant, I stole the wrench from Robbie's toolbox. Through hike with dating. What's that now in my forties and single again, I have no idea what to do. No social media, no dating apps. So alone time is the best time. If I did meet someone, coffee and tea is the best way. Yes. It's rough in these streets with this dating. I'm not even kidding. It's, it's rough. It's rough. Oh. Okay. Um, we're going to wrap it up soon because I haven't eaten dinner and I'm getting a little hungry and a little cold. So I need to put on my sweater. I didn't prepare any games or anything, but. I wanted to talk about, talk about the topic of being neighborly. Well, you have a whole lot of upvotes from guys on that. Yes. Bars, said Mark. I usually like to pay my own for the first date. Will that work for you, Rob? Ooh. I don't like to pay my own way on the first date. If so, if if I'm going out with a friend, then of course I pay my own way. But if someone's legitimately trying to date me, I'm old school. I'm a traditional girl. Like, listen, if we're going out for a coffee, even as a friend, like, like even if you went out with a friend, they'd pay for the coffee. And if you ask me on a date and you don't pay for my coffee or my smoothie, that's kind of cheesy. Like, you're trying to get to, like, know me and, like, get get like a relationship going I really think that that's like a gentlemanly thing to do um and that's another reason I don't think I should take girls on big dinners because it's like you know girls shouldn't be out here just asking for the most but yeah I'm a traditional in that way I think a guy should pay for the date not every time but at least the first one okay um Hope says, hey, you single, stay single and just mingle. Hey, but like, you know, I'm not trying to be out here mingling too crazy. You know what I'm saying? So I would like to have a boyfriend. So that'd be better. A trifecta dab. Epic. I just love being mentioned for donations. <laughs> awesome. So nice chatting with you. Hope you're safe and wish you the best. Keep being you. Thank you so much. Karina says, good, good evening, everyone. Uh, Robert says old school equals Dutch. I don't know about that. If you're going on a friend date, Dutch is great. But if you're going on a legit, I'm trying to like get to know you to maybe date you for reals. Then yeah, I'm, I'm with the old school dude paying. Yeah, just $4 and some chat. I love it. Love it. Good night, Tina. <clears throat> Oh, six hours north of Oakland. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. 
I've heard that like that area as well is a little rough for, you know, like smashing windows and stuff. Um, all right. So we've been on for 94 minutes. Um, Tracy says, yeah, <clears throat> if you can't buy me a coffee, then you're not the guy for me. Just saying, well, unless I invite you, then I pay. Yeah. I mean, that's fair too. You know, if you invite somebody out, then that's fine if you could pay. Um, but if a dude can't pick up coffee tab, he can't, he can take a hike. Yes, that's true. I absolutely agree. If they ask, if they pay for the coffee smoothie, so on, that does not get any, that does not get anything else. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Thanks for hanging out. Cool meeting you, Grant. Yes. Um, yes, yes. Awesome. Awesome. A coffee and a walk. Uh, good night, Gina. All right, so we're going to wrap it up for the evening. This Friday was a hit. <clears throat> and I kind of like just doing it on my phone, to be honest. Next time I remember to, hopefully remember to turn it to the side um, so that it'll look better. But I appreciate everybody for coming on and all the love and donations and uh, just, you know, hearing out my story. And, you know, hopefully we're all a little more neighborly after this chat. So I know it's late for some of you guys and, uh, I just appreciate you guys so much. You guys are awesome. Um, Oh, Tracy coming in with that last minute $5 for a coffee. Listen, I love it. I love it. Okay. What can I, what can I do for, Oh, what can I do for a, uh, a shout out? Um, I'll sing you a little song, Tracy. Tracy coming through with the five dollars at the end of the chat. That's that's what you get. That's what you get. A little song at the end. <laughs> whoop whoop. Uh, you guys have a great weekend. Um, Gina, I am in Colorado right now. Uh, Deb's Deb Deb G says I'm married, but I agree. Ask her out. Open the door. Pull out the chair and pay. Expect that thing in return. Yes. Good night, everybody. Uh, uh, good night, Crystal. Um, thank you guys so much. You guys are so awesome. Thank you for being here with me on a Friday night. I'm going to get some food, and then I'm going to find somewhere to go to sleep. That's hopefully nobody's going to be yelling at me. So, yes, don't forget to join. Oh, don't forget to join back on Sunday. Uh, we're having a mystery guest, and it's going to be a good one. Uh, so you're definitely going to want to be there. So Sunday this Sunday coming up at 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Mountain, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Set your notifications on because they're going to have a mystery guest and it's going to be great. So make sure you're there on Sunday and it's going to be a fun time. So um, have a great night. Have a great weekend until I see you on Sunday. And until then, keep snacking. And I love you guys very much. Uh, if no one's told you, I love you. And make sure you connect with each other outside of the live stream because people are, are lonely out here and it's just nice to get a phone call or a FaceTime or whatever. Please like connect with each other. So I appreciate you guys and I'll talk to you on Sunday. Bye guys. I'm just going to read these last few comments. Awesome. 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 Grant. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, okay, great, Maddie. Okay, I'm glad this Friday night worked for you. All right, good night, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.